know that in order to be a polygon, a figure has to be made up of at least three line segments that join at their endpoints only. We also know we use words much more specific than just polygon to describe a lot of shapes. We're going to start with our three-sided polygon because it's our smallest, our triangle. The equilateral triangle would be considered our regular triangle because it has all equal sides and all equal angles. All other triangles would be classified as irregular because they have different side lengths, different angle measures, or both. When we increase to a four-sided figure, we've created quadrilaterals. The square is our regular quadrilateral because of its equal sides and equal angles. All other quadrilaterals would be classified as irregular because it either has different side lengths, different angle measures, or both. Pentagons have five sides and five angles. The building in Washington is probably the pentagon you're most familiar with. That would be our five-sided regular pentagon because of its equal sides and equal angles. Other five-sided pentagons would most likely be classified as irregular because they have different sides, different angles, or both. Our regular hexagon continues on with its equal sides and equal angles. You're probably noticing a pattern developing amongst the regular figures in that they tend to take on a more circular shape than their irregular figures do. Again, an irregular hexagon, though, is still going to have six sides. It's just not going to have equal sides or equal angles or both. When we create a seven-sided polygon, we've created a heptagon. Regular heptagons probably aren't as familiar to you as irregular heptagons. A lot of arrows are actually irregular heptagons when you see them just outlined. Regular octagons are a shape that we're all familiar with because that's what's used for a stop sign. But again, any eight-sided figure is going to be considered an octagon, most likely irregular. A regular nonagon continues on that circular pattern to it. Any nine-sided figure, though, is going to be considered a nonagon. Most likely, though, it's going to be an irregular nonagon. Irregular decagons, or our irregular ten-sided polygons, are what you're probably most familiar with because the outline of it creates a star. A regular decagon does have ten equal sides and ten equal angles, though. While there are 11, 12, 13, and so on-sided polygons, triangles through decagons are the ones you're probably going to work with most often. 